Here's what happened. Round eight of the FIA Motocross World Championship, the MXGP of Germany. MX2 qualifying, and it was Paul Jonas who grabbed a whole shot from Thomas Kier Olsen and Thomas Cunnington with Benoit Patrell just behind him in fourth. Siwa was a couple of positions further back on his yellow Suzuki. It was a very rutty circuit here after overnight rain, but it was starting to dry out towards the end of the day, but it was still a challenge for the riders. Siwa started to make light work of everybody else, but up front, fighting over second and third with the two Husqvarna's as they went after the KTM of Jonas. Covington found a way up the inside of his teammate. And then he went after Jonas on the number 41, Red Bull KTM. And on lap four, the 64 found his way into the lead. And he would lead for two laps. Thomas Kier Olsen then made a move around the outside of Jonas to get himself into second around about the same time. Jonas then was in third. Just behind them was the number six Yamaha on the Kinnear machine of Benoit Pacherel, who was also starting to make some inroads towards the front as Thomas Covington fell from the lead after two laps of leading. Jeremy Siwa swept alongside the number six to get himself into third, leaving the Frenchman down in fourth position. But in what was a very strange race, Jeremy Siwa found himself going down as well. He got himself onto the rear wheel of Jonas, challenged for second, lost the back, lost the front, went out the side door and handed third back to Benoit Pacherel. See what would eventually come home in third. Thomas Kier Olsen then fell from the lead about six laps from home. And that put Jonas back in front on his Red Bull KTM. Jeremy Seawert started to close in on Thomas Kier Olsen. But then the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna rider, just as he thought he'd regrouped, half a lap later, he tasted the German dirt once again, would eventually come home in 10th. The closing three laps, and Benoit Pacherel sighed his way down the inside of Paul's Jonas, and the Khmer Yamaha rider then went on to take his first qualifying race of the year. Paul's Jonas was second, C were third, Chervelin and Covington rounded out the top five. Hunter Lawrence was six, Brian Moog was seven, Jacoby Bernardini and Thomas Kieros, new top ten. Official confirmation then. The MX2 qualifying race here in Germany. Pacherel, a winner for the first time ahead of Jonas, Siwa, Chevelin and Covington. Good for me for, for the head to feel uh, confident for tomorrow. Uh, for the first... Uh, time uh, I start good and uh, help me a lot of on the race. I'm so happy uh, it's good and uh, we work hard for tomorrow. In the MXGP qualifying race, Jeffrey Hearns was fastest in time training but lost out to Tim Geiser. Tony Cairoli was second as Hurlings muscled his way through just outside the top ten. Geiser led from Cairoli, Paul Ann, Van Horvick, De Salle, Tixier, and Hurlings was on the charge immediately. Tony Cairoli gave chase to the 243 of Tim Geiser as they battled over the lead, but then a scrub went horribly wrong for Geiser. He overjumped and landed in the second turn. He was a little bit dazed and confused. Despite rejoining the race, he was out a lap later, handing the lead to Tony Cairoli. Everybody else advanced a position. Geiser did rejoin, as we said, but he will start from 33rd on the grid on Sunday. The two Yamahas of Jeremy Van Horvick and Roman Fevre battled over four for much of the race. As Kyrolik stretched his lead at the head of the field over Gautier Paulin on the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna. Van Horvick started to get close and he was bringing his Monster Energy Yamaha teammate with him as well in the form of the former champ, Roman Fevre. Behind them was Clement de Sao. Fevre briefly got himself past Van Horby, but the Belgian was having none of it and pushed the Frenchman wide on more than one occasion in the qualifying race. Fevre ran out of tear-offs towards the end of the race as well. He found his way back past Van Horby, but not for long. As once again, his teammate 
and a neat line. And this time he brought Jeffrey Hurlings with him on the Red Bull KTM. All of a sudden, Hurlings was up into fourth place. And then he went after Van Horbeek. He went around the outside and tried to defend, but just lost out to the KTM as he carved his way onto the rear wheel of Gautier, Paul and Susfana. And just as we thought he'd go around the outside, he switched it back to the inside. And in one swoop, found his way into second on the final lap, pushing Paul and to third. It was Tony Cairoli who was victorious in the qualifying race in the MXGP class. And it was a Red Bull KTM 1-2 with Hurlings coming home second. Paul and was third, Van Horvick fourth, and Roman Febvre was fifth. Clement de Salle was sixth, Koldenhoff seventh, Tixier eighth, Jesse Konis ninth, and Arna Tonis was tenth. Tony Cairoli, congratulations. Your third qualifying race win of the season. So far, things are looking good for this weekend. Yeah, it was, uh, it was very important to get a good start. And uh, we did it. Uh, we did a good start. Then we follow team a little bit. Uh, then he make a crash. And uh, I, I control the race until the end. I see that uh, in the back they were fighting. So hopefully tomorrow is going to be a nice race, another good start. So we, we try to do the same. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you.